Like most of the questions that I discuss in this series, itong problem nito, you have options din kung paano ito solve I'll show you yung traditional method and then I'll show you din kung paano ko siya gawin. Which I think is faster, which would be helpful if you're taking an exam na merong time limit. Okay? Now, yung traditional method nitong, nitong classing problem starts with yung fraction. Proportion problem kasi siya. It's the same way for the technique that I'm going to show you later. First thing that you have to do is to match yung nauunang number dun sa nauunang number dun sa nasa likod at yung nahuhuling number naman sa nahuhuling number dun sa likod. In this case, yung number ay represented ng 20 plus B. So, ang hinahanap natin is just B or basically, ano ang idadagdag mo sa 20 para maging yung number na counterpart ng 98. So, it would look like this. 28 over 14 is equal to, at match natin, again, 28, katapat niya yung 98, so that would be 98, all over 20 plus B. And then, after that, we're going to do yung cross-multiplication. So, 28 times 20 plus B is equal to, and then you have 14 times yan, 98. Yun yun na na, para mas visual. So, i-multiply mo yan, multiply mo yan. Again, using the traditional method, i-distribute natin yung 28 dito. So, magiging 560. Ito, kasi 28 times 20 plus, and then you have 28B. Kasi i-multiply mo yung 28 sa B. It's equal to, and then you have 14 times 98. So, again, what I do is just I basically... Do 14 times 100, which is going to give me 1,400. Tapos, ima minus ko lang yung 2 times 24, eh, times uh, 14, which is 28. So, it's just in my mind, 1,400 or 1,400 minus, and then you have yung uh, 2 times 14, which is 28. So, that would be 1,372. So, that would be here, 1,372. Tapos 28B, iwanan natin yung B sa isang side. 28B is equal to, and then you have 1,372. Lilipan natin to sa kabilang side, so magiging minus siya, minus 560. 28B is equal to, e, minus lang natin ito, that would be 812. Kasi i-divide natin siya sa 28. So again, Medyo mahaba yung proseso. Hindi ko muna ibabagsak yung final answer. We'll just uh, try yung other method muna here. There's a technique I call ratio rotation. The video for that would be linked here dito sa description box or dun sa comment nitong video na ito if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook. Um, that would be a good lesson for you to learn kasi it can be faster for you. All you have to do there is this. So 28, ganun pa rin. Start out with just the fraction. 28 over 14 is equal to 98 over 20 plus B. Now, again, alam natin, ang hinahanap mo lang is kung ano yung number na idadagdag mo sa 20 para maging yung number na dapat talaga nandyan. Now, in this case, we do the rotation method, pero a good thing to do would be to reduce it to the smallest terms muna. So, ito, i-reduce ko muna siya sa lowest terms. Pareho siyang divisible sa 2. Pwede siyang maging 14 over 7, which in turn could be just basically 2 
over 1 kasi divisible din siya sa 7. Again, i-reduce ko lang siya sa lowest terms. And then I'm just going to rotate it. Okay? So para lang mas makita ninyo, i-rewrite ko siya. So naging 2 over 1 is equal to 98 over 20 plus b. Iikot ko lang siya. So I'll start with this end dahil ito yung nawawalang part. Iikotin ko lang siya diyan. 98 divided by 2 which will give me 49 times 1, so that would be 49. Ibig sabihin, yung 20 plus B, dapat maging equal siya sa 49. Anong number ang idadagdag ko sa 20 para maging 49? So, ang gagawin ko lang is iiwan ko yung B sa isang side, tapos gagawin ko 49 minus 20. Actually, this part, you can do it ng mentally lang. Alam mo naman agad kung ano yung number ang idadagdag mo sa 20 para maging 49. That would be B is equal to 29. So, the answer here is 29. Now, to check, ano ba ang 812 divided by 28? Okay? Again, you can just, um, you can actually just substitute 29 sa 28. So, multiply lang natin. 29 times 28, dapat lumabas 812. Just to check kung pareho rin ang lalabas dito sa side na ito. So, 9 times 8 is 72. 7, 16 ito. Plus, 7, uh, 7 that would be 23. Tapos sa ilalim, you have 8, and then 4, and here you have 812. So, tama tayo dyan. Ibig sabihin, kung dinivide mo ito, nag-long cut ka lang, ginanyan mo, gina mo siyang 812 divided by 28, ang lalabas pa rin na sagot is still 29. So, um, that is the beauty of knowing this technique. I have a bunch more on YouTube then that you can watch for free, and a bunch more resources here on the Facebook um, age so um, you can catch up uh, this method can be helpful for you kasi if you notice again mas mabilis itong technique na ito than this okay so hopefully makatulong sa inyo sa exam share this if you have friends who are also taking tests and kung gusto lang talaga ninyong tulungan din silang matuto and uh, as always like my page uh, subscribe to me on youtube if you want more content never stop learning guys aja aja kayo niya see you next video and bye for now